getting Squirtle so strong that he could kill my rival's Pokemon all by himself. He's just like so out leveled it. It's like <laughs> he throws his level 50 Bulbasaur down, and I drop my level 100 Blastoise. <laughs> that sounds cool. It was man. great. It was the best. Oh, good times. Man, Pokemon. Yep. Well, let's actually, stuff. after we're done, let's just go buy the new Pokemon together. I have zero money, but. It'll be my Christmas present to you. Oh. I would actually love it. <laughs> yeah? I haven't had a handheld game in ages. Let's <laughs> do it. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> game number two is live between Jig and Ryong. Let's talk a little bit about StarCraft. Hopefully you guys are having fun tonight as well. I just messed up the scoreboard like multiple times. But we are here back on Frost. I want to say Polar Night. This time I am right. It is Frost. As Jig is our French Canadian Zerg spawning in the right bottom side of Frost. Yep. And here's Do you think he would mind if we call him French Canadian? Maybe he just wants to be Canadian? Uh, I don't know. We should ask him. Maybe we should not just like say that he's French Canadian. Maybe all all his life he tried to get rid of the French accent. <laughs> he's like, yeah. <laughs> no, I I'm doubt it. I think most people that are French Canadian are quite proud. Yeah, and there's nothing Canadian. wrong with that. I mean, I would be proud. Uh, George Saint Pierre is a great French Canadian. I'm proud to be a Dutch Rotterdammer. <laughs> do you know? Wait, do you know no George Saint Pierre? Do you know who that is? No, but I do not know. He's a very famous mixed martial artist. Ah, the guy who's about to retire. Yeah, and yeah. he is, uh, w uh, well, rumored to be fighting his last fight uh, November 16th, I believe. Well, Ben, that guy might be awesome, but he's not as awesome as this handsome Korean spawning in the left bottom side of the map. It is Axioms Ryung. Ryung says to Jig about that last map, I am not impressed with your performance. I think Ryung would say the opposite. We all would say it like giggly. Like, I'm not impressed <laughs> with your performance. <laughs> it was a really cool game, really cool build by Jig, though. Classic, uh, classic example of hashtag mind game. Apparently, Ryung talks like Fuser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Fuser is such a good dude. Mm -hmm. He's doing good. If people are wondering what a Fuser doing these days, I remember that name. He's still Turexing on a uh, Smurf account, but other than that, he's also going to college. Yep. And He's studying and enjoying the good life. Constantly inviting Roddy and me to go hang out with him in a cabin in Finland. Yes. Which sounds strange and fun. The only thing the Fuser wants to do is get naked with us in the sauna. <laughs> and we just don't know why. Well, well. Fuse is a good dude. Spawning pool going down. So far everything is very standard, Ben, for Jig over here in the right bottom yep. side of the map. Ryong this time is going to scout. I think this is the first time in all four games did he play. He's like, he's like, all right, all right. Let's let's not let's not let's not go out this way. It was a two base uh, two game series against Snood, right? Snood one two zero against Ryong. Uh, or was that a yes. two one as well? Wrote Chider the first game. And was it the eleven eleven? And then it was the eleven eleven on on Belshire. Belshire Vestige. Man, that was such a sick hold by Snood. If you guys mix it, if you still struggle a little bit with eleven eleven. Please watch Snoot vs. Ryong on Belsha, it was a great game. Mm. This time, however, Ryong is tired of losing against foreign Zergs. He's like, man, one of my Korean friends is watching right now. I'm not going to get free dinner tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm going to step up my game. Crank just sat down behind him and yeah. said, all right, time And Ryong's like, oh, sorry, Crank. I can see Crank being pretty intimidating, even though he's so friendly and he's so nice. I think Crank, you know... If you know he he's got a dark side. Yeah, if he wants to be the boss, those eyes go from very friendly to very serious. They just, they just become clouded and dark. <laughs> So we're probably going to see Ryong uh, switch things up a little bit and show us some of that fantastic multitasking that he's shown us so often in the past. Uh, Ryong has had a lot of success off the back of his amazing TVT. He's a uh, fantastic Terran versus Terran player. Mm -hmm. Even in Heart of the Swarm, I would say those skills carried over pretty well. Of course, he lost a couple of TVTs here and there as the matchup went through a couple of uh, identity crises as well. Yeah, look at this red cross on the minimap. <laughs> Maybe he's saying something. Maybe he's trying to build medevacs. No, maybe he's just... Wow! Oh my god, Rion's so ahead of the meta. Or he's just trying to get a donation. Yeah. Needs a, needs a uh, blood transfusion. Give me the blood of innovation! <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff freaks me out, thinking about... Like, like these whole blood transfusion things, that what happens in pro sport. It's weird. Stick with your own. <laughs> <laughs> Grow your own blood. <laughs> <laughs> My blood. Four X-Rex is going down. It seems like Jake has no intentions yet, man, of going up to four bases. Man, he takes all of his extractors so early on. Right now, he has 18 drones on yeah, minerals. This is bizarre. This is six minutes in the game, and he only has he's 18 just, drones on minerals. He's just a player that really likes fast mutas, and I, 
I don't really understand yeah. why that is. It well, makes him so vulnerable to early timings. But this game, it might be good once more, because he's facing this uh, Hellion opening into Banshee. But he is still going to have to worry about these Hellions and these two Reapers knocking yeah, at his front he's door. He's got to stop the initial aggression. And if he can do that, it might be great, right? Because yeah, the Mutas are going to come around the same time. Spinecrawler and three Queens should be okay, right, Ben? I think so. It all sort of depends on the execution. I mean, a Reaper in the main base can be tough to deal with. Uh, but uh, here comes that initial poke. I don't think Ryung's actually going to commit to this. This is enough to, to feel scary. Ling's on the high ground. We'll chase this Reaper. This is going to be a great scout for Ryung. Yeah. He's Ryung like, knows hey, he's another fast it. layer. He's probably going to send that Banshee in ASAP and then just be okay with it when it dies. Baneling this is going out. The Banshee is going to at least give him the additional scout, uh, though, because in the last game he got a relatively... Now, the last time Jig was scouted... Yeah, he switched things up. Yep, into a, into a Baneling bust. Man, that plus one armor on the Muda still baffles me. I think we're going to see the same Baneling bust. No. Oh, oh you mean uh, on Derelict? Mm -hmm. Ah, that was something different. Man, Jig has definitely shown us a lot of variety in his playstyle today. And it all sums up, it, you know, it all comes down to being different. But it's definitely different every single time in each of his own way, if that makes any sense. It's different of being different. Double Overlord, will he get immediate Bane Link speed? Oh, so he's seen something that makes him think Banshee. I guess it's he's just seen the Banshee, <laughs> as it is in the main base. And there's Bane Link speed instantly. Mm. OC is being morphed, but the OC are... Uh, well, I don't actually no think a Baneling bus is going to work at this point. I think that uh, Ryung's got too much stuff out on the map. Jake's got to do something else. If Ryung would scout this in time, I think it's relatively easy uh -huh. to defend on this map. With units over here on the high ground, they can just start shooting down. We do see 20 lings on the production tab. Uh, I don't see it happen, but Now 24. Now yeah. 28. No. I refuse to believe. I don't know if it's going to work, but I, uh, it's, starting to, uh, it's almost a certainty that he's going for it at this point. Unless he just really likes taking his, sa his third base when he's very safe. And with very safe, I mean like 12 bane links, 20 links, one See what he does with this next round of larva. <laughs> it's probably going it's to be. It's going to be. He's making two overlords at once. At this point on, he kind of has to do something with it. He's, st he's stuck on 41 drones yep, and two bases. Going for it. But Ryong is so well aware of this, man. Like, how is this ever going to work? If he puts Hellions over here on the high ground, he's going to have the time of his life. Yeah, Banshee's in a perfect spot to scout it. Ling's going to run right underneath. And how is this ever going to work, Jig guys? Ooh, well, there's no Widow Mine, there's no Siege Tank. So it's possible. Uh, but these Marines from the high ground are going to be able to shoot so long and so much. It's possible. Lings are going to poke for... Oh, watch out! Those Hellions are going to be tough to uh, tough to deal uh, with. He's making so many links. I kind of find this a little bit weird. Like, I love when he did it on Derelict, because that was very different. You know, he got scouted, and Derelict was also a map where he was able to get away with it. He was already pushing creep out pretty far. But this game with the bench as well, I feel Ryong is so well prepared. And a world-class player like Ryong Ben, he's just... You know, no matter how many links and banelings this is, oh my god, look at this Banshee. You're doing some work, killing a few banelings, but uh, I'm still a little worried. First Widow Mine is just now out. And, I, uh, I give you 5 to 1 odds, man. Uh, or $10 I, 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 bet. Well. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He's going to go for it anyway. Baneling's going to come crashing into the natural. Lings are way clumped up. That Widow Mine's going to get a pretty good connection. SCVs hiding behind the mineral line are all going to fall. Most of them. A couple of SCVs will be able to survive by the skin of their teeth. Fire going down immediately behind this. 29 SCVs against 40 drones. Uh, there's no third com There's the third commander. Never mind. Yeah. This is bad news for, for Jig. He's still a two-base Zerg after all. His fire is pretty late to the party. He's on 1-1 one, one upgrade, yeah, so can't, that's... You can't go Spire from this position, not without another base. That's something you can sort of work with. 10 creep tumors at once, that's a lot of creep, man. He's still not as much as the world record, still held by red. What was that? I don't know, but it was a lot. <laughs> was it when we were casting? Yeah. What did he have, like 22 or something? I think it was... I think it was 28. <laughs> oh my god. But I'm not certain about that. That's a lot of creep tumors. Yeah, chain things are so Halloween-ish. Did you think so? Yeah. My costume is a marine. Why are you shooting me? What is he doing? I just want to be one of you. Shooting the overlord. I didn't see the overlord. I was like, what is he shooting at? Army supply shows us 72 against 32. And it's basically what we said throughout the entire game, Ben. I felt that Ryong is... Oh, this is a Christmas tree? <laughs> um, it's the wrong season. <laughs> Look, there's even presents underneath it. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. Now the marine like drops and picks it up. Plus <laughs> 100 minerals. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> drops it down the Vespine geyser. Yeah. 
Oh, see you chasing out this uh, medevac. I just felt that Ryong from start to finish, man, took this game very serious. And he just said, I'm going to play my absolute best DVC because I'm sick of losing it. I've lost three games on a row right now, and I felt none of those games I really had to lose. Most of them were a little sloppy. Crazy Ryong pushing in right now oh, in this turret base as well. Oh, actually, yeah, I don't know. It's not going not gonna to work. Uh, 41 lings is not enough to fight 31 marines, unfortunately. Uh, with uh, some baneling support, maybe, but I... Oh, actually... What a mine hits were very painful for those marines. He's still going to lose his hatchery. He didn't pick up enough, man. Spike crawler is pretty much all that remains. A couple of additional bailings start rolling in now. Trans fuse on the overseer. Oh, really? Because he can. Ryong heading north. He knows there are a couple of drones hiding for their life. Man. This, this looks like something terrible. These are like the bad guys looking for the good guys. They're just hiding all over Frost. Are you hiding a drone in your basement, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no. I have not seen any drones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We're going to go ahead and land his third. Uh, Jig's actually able to deny this for now, which is cute. But unfortunately, all of the... Uh, yeah. All of the indicators point to a foregone conclusion. Oh, Jake, this is not something you want to roll up to. There are a couple of Widowmines here as well. Reinforcements coming in from the Ooh. other side. All of these bailings are so trapped that they're kind oh, of forced. Oh, yeah, burn Widowmines! Yeah. It's just not trace that uh, Jake can really <laughs> get away <laughs> the with. The mutas are here. Ow. But the mutas were there, man. Yeah. Most of the mutas fall immediately. A little bit of a sloppy game here by Jake. He tried to go for another one of his tricks, but... Ryong was all over this game from start to finish. I felt he played very focused and he had everything together. And he just said, man, enough is enough. I want to win a game two on Halloween. I want to be he remembered as the Halloween Terran. You shall not bust. You know, if Ryong wins this game, and which he most likely will, the next game, and then 2-0 is the SEC, from this point on, he's the Halloween Terran. We will rename him Spooky. <laughs> the Spooky Terran. It's kind of cool. I can see Ryong being Spooky. Who's the spookiest StarCraft player? Probably Braddock. Yeah. It's all year long, it's Halloween for Braddock. <laughs> <laughs> you think this is scary? <laughs> Wait until you make another joke, then you see Scar. Uh, you think this is scary? I'm like, show you scary. You might wake up and Braddock's like standing over you. Okay, Braddock, I'm scared. I'm so surprised that Braddock was able to enter the US for season 2 and he's on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know who he bribed for that, because normally... You know he's like got a government permit to do assassin work all around the world. That's, he can go wherever he wants, man. <laughs> Poor Braddock. Braddock shows up at the border like, right this way, sir. You know, if they would like, how would you stereotype like a KGB agent, then the, just Braddock's picture would roll out. <laughs> Somehow he made it. <laughs> and don't worry, I'll play computer game. Yeah, sure, Braddock. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. He's like the nicest Russian in the world. <laughs> the suitcase goes to the expert machine. Yeah. There's like machine guns and grenades and combat knives in there. It's actually like mouse and keyboard. Are you trying to hack the FBI, sir? <laughs> no, no. I no, it's okay. I have <laughs> special access. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> it's like <just> special tactics. <laughs> Jig on a one and a two supply ban. He's looking like he's a little lost in this game. Over under on 20 minutes, Kev. Uh, I think we're going to be under as Ryong is marching in. He's stimming. He's cleaning out creep. We're going to see a little bit of a counter attack over here. Ooh, I think this was a juicy connection. Well, seven kills. It's still pretty reasonable. Lings will try and surround this bunker, but uh, there's reinforcements here. And he has a lot of man. Jig has a lot of money. He's actually like Hive is about to finish up. I think he's going to go for Great Aspire. No, I think he's instead going to make all these upgrades. And Ultra List. Adrenal Glands. If there's a way back in this game, Kev. I don't think Adrenal Glands is the way. <laughs> but if you say this, look at all these Medivex. I just want to, I always want to warp in 12 High Templars now and feedback all of them. Oh, <laughs> it would make life so beautiful. 14 Medivacs out on the map. Feet, feet, feet. Like out of all these, feet, this one would die. 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 Almost die. Out of like these 14 medevacs, I think 12 of them would immediately die. Queens! Feedback. This is just feedback heaven. Jig down about 80 supply, working hard to make it to the over. 40 seconds left. I think he's gonna get there. Well, counterattack into the natural of Ryung. Going for the command center. Oh, he's gonna go for the command center. He's almost gonna get it, but the SCVs are pulled in time. You know, he, he is actually... Stay alive. He's He's getting ultra list out. If he was actually researching Belgian glands as well and able to land a couple of fungal growth, you know, I might actually become a believer again. Then I'm pretty sure we're going to see the legendary words of Imba, 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 Imba again. 
But I don't think that's the type of game it is, man. Uh, and Fester Ultra is uh, the great equalizer. Yeah. There's Patrick. Oh, there's Patrick. A couple of Bainings being morphed as well. I still don't believe us. Uh, he's also supply blocked. Look at these queens picking off Widow Mines like it's their day job. <laughs> Like that, that's the sport, you know, where you shoot out those discs from the air. Zerglings and Banelings trying to connect Widow Mine whiffs on only a single ling, and the Ultras are out, Kevin. Yeah. There's a lot of transfuse energy, and it's going to be nigh impossible, but Jig's going to try. It's 3 3 bio, though. After Here all. we go. Banelings are going to melt away before they ever really get in the mix, but these Ultras are never going to die with this much transfuse energy. They're waiting for those investors to spawn. Two investors are on the way. 26 additional circlings. Look at Jig's money. If he's able to spend all this money, he's still behind. <laughs> but <I'm starting laughs> if to he's able it. to spend it all, he does make it past the 20 minute marks. So I feel that yeah. like uh, Ryong might have too many. Uh, transfuse! Transfuse! Ooh, oh, down goes an ultra. Down goes Frazier. <laughs> down goes Frazier. Did I ever say that about Mohammed uh, Ali as well? Nope. Because he never went down. He definitely went down a couple of times. I don't think he was undefeated. Did we just lose no. game sounds? I don't know. Did we lose game sounds? I don't know, man. No, we didn't lose game sounds. There's just no shooting anymore. I was just tabbing all over the map, man. Oh, I was so confused. I hear healing rain. Look at the amount of medivacs we have out on the map. We almost have 16 medivacs oh, over there. Oh, this is a bad fight, Jig. Your ultra all the is died, stuck behind another ultra. Transfuse. Best, if all those Widowmines do some friendly fire, Oh my god, these queens. Oh! oh. Ryong, oh. you had to see that. Yeah. Yes, you did. Oh, he's like, that's fun. Yeah, now he's lost all of his transfuse. Uh, which means one fungal kind of whiffs as well. Second fungal's pretty good, but. Yeah. Uh, Benji has been doing a fantastic job in denying this fourth base, by the way. And oh, the there's a big fungal. fungal! If only there was transfuse, the ultras all melt away to the 3 3 oh bio. GG <laughs> gets called, and Ryong does take it. Is that even it up at one each or is it yes, over now? Yes, that's uh, even it up at one each. It felt like a really long game. Yeah, it was kind of a long